But now we can see massive volume into Bitcoin ordinals. And if you have a look at Magic Eden in the past 24 hours, you can see the bitmaps have almost 9 Bitcoin in volume. And you can see the floor sits around $80. So there's definitely money to be made. I was telling you to inscribe bitmaps back in June. If you did, you made nice profit already from $2 to $80 at the moment. And without further ado, I just want to show you the upcoming projects that, in my opinion, they will do well. So the first collection that I want to talk about today is Audibots, which is going to be the AR collection with 3D interactive art on bitcoin and this collection is going to be developed on a brc69 and the collection supply is going to be 1690 the devs behind the project is rough so if you don't know him he is the founder behind doge punks you can see this collection sits pretty pretty well as well um total supply is 10,000 for this collection and the floor is 200 dollars and the other dev behind the project is jerry the martian so he along with rough developing the audibots this is essentially how it looks like at the moment so you can change your audibot and you can select your trade so once you do that and then you can click on confirm and then you can see your old robot so i'm a huge fan of this collection and what they do in general because they are trying to onboard as many different a newcomers to the space and it's completely free so i'm looking forward to the mint day and if you haven't followed him yet definitely do so because this is one of the devs that they care about the ordinal space and follow all the robots so you're not gonna miss out the mint the next product on my list is ninja alerts so if you don't know yet ninja alerts primarily was the portfolio tracking tool where you could have input any wallet that you want to track and it showed you nft collections that the person was buying or selling or listing We're essentially going to be releasing the ordinal collection and you can see how the art looks like really aesthetic really unique and very very simple so i'm a fan of that and if you get on one of these pre-sales you can get the customized art they're sending you some of the samples and you can choose which one you like the most and this is the one that you will mint so now how you get on the whitelist so if you will go to the ninja alert so i'm gonna link it down below and then basically Basically, you just connect your metamask wallet download the app and then you have to review the on the app store and then if you invite few friends and at the end of the promotion you'll be in top 1000 in a leaderboard you will get the allow list so i definitely encourage you to join to the discord and follow them on twitter and if you haven't followed Trevor yet, he's the founder behind the project. Definitely do so. So you're not going to miss out any upcoming notifications. And I think that's one of these projects that might do multiple X's if you're going to get on the whitelist, if you decide to flip them. So give it a go and do not fail this. So the next project that I want to cover today is Nakamoto Archives, which will be distributed on Magic Eden Bitcoin Launchpad on November 21st. And there will be 354 whitelists. The price is going to be completely free. It's slightly over allocated with 450 addresses and will include all drain holders so this is essentially how the art looks like and what this project is all essentially about if you go to the official website so it consists of all these different emails and also posts that nakamoto ever posted so this collection includes 542 forum posts and 34 emails so you're gonna have 576 collectibles and you can see everything is already inscribed you can view this on magic eden it's a specific post email and also art so let me show you how it looks like and this corresponds to some specific art as well so you can see this is how the art looks like so lifo basically took the text version of the inscription and transcribed it to art layer inscription so uh, i think this is something really really unique and really cool and that's one of the smaller ordinal collections so i would like to have one of these in my inventory as the historical value so follow lifo on twitter because he's building something really cool but so the next one i want to talk about today is node monkeys and i was watching this collection since ordinals came out so this is going to be the first 10k collection fully inscribed on bitcoin they're doing something really special because they're trying to onboard masses into ordinals this is going to be a fully public mint and i think this is going to do really really well because we've seen many times in the past that free nfts free ordinals they tend to do really well once they're gonna get the traction we can see multiple rare ones with different attributes and also you can see the entire collection already inscribed on magic eden i can imagine a lot of people are gonna start buying the rare ones like laser eyes all the gold ones so we have different variety of different attributes that i think if this collection is going to be trending i can imagine a lot of people just basically fomoing in these ones and buying the rare ones and flipping them for way above the floor still early we don't know anything about when the mint is going to happen and if you don't want to miss out on this one which i definitely think you're supposed to keep your eyes peeled then definitely leave them a follow button and join to the discord and last but not least we have rune x which is the protocol on pipe that i previously covered in my video so at first they introduced the box 1.0 which was basically your whitelist spot for genesis collection that you could flip for nice 
couple x profit so the first sale was around two thousand dollars and later on you can see more and more people starting uh trading and finding value in these collectibles now we have the um, box 2.0 where if you are active in one of these ordinal communities like truck or pipe you could have snag yourself a box or coach 2.0 which basically gives you the access to rune protocol and also we have something that we don't know what it is exactly so we have 3x it might be maybe secondary collection from rune x we don't know and there only will be three digit boxes so maybe 100 boxes or maybe more than that so so definitely something that i found really interesting so you can see they've got a lot of traction and that's one of these projects that i think you're supposed to keep your eyes open so that's pretty much it for the video and if you enjoyed this video leave the like button for the algorithm and comment down below what you think and i'll see you in the next one